All right, Josh, drop a, drop a so, beat for us. I don't beat, sorry. Hey, everyone. Day three of the runs. Um, wow, that sounds awful. Hey, everyone. <laughs> Day three of uh, running during lunch. Gonna keep this up. Uh, legs are definitely feeling it already. Um, so I'm gonna try and do the same route that I did uh, yesterday, which was that three miles or close to three miles uh, and see how well I can do. Um, you know, worst case, case scenario, I'll just have a longer mile time. But uh, yeah, hopefully I'll keep the same distance, be able to make the whole way through. Um, and best case scenario, shave a couple seconds off. All right, later. No donkeys at the gate today. Oh well, I'm a little bit early. That's okay. Gonna keep running, gonna keep going. Hey everyone, day three run finished. Uh, even though I, I ran at a slower pace, I'm, I'm happy that I finished it. And I feel like I kept a, a better pace this time. I didn't take as many breaks. So um, yeah, I, I'm actually happy about this run. So uh, even though my legs were hurting and even though I went slower than, than last time I had a slower mile time, I still felt better about it because I took way fewer breaks and uh, was able to go farther uh, for longer. So yeah, let's, let's keep this up. I might switch it up tomorrow. Maybe uh, uh, give my legs a break, try a different workout, maybe hit the bag a little bit and um, or do some rows. Yeah, so we'll see you later. Hey everyone, day three of running in the books. Going back to the gym for uh, chest day. Um, but one of two of one of two things is gonna happen while when I get there. Number one, I'm gonna just collapse because I'm so exhausted. Um, been pushing myself pretty hard this week, so pretty dead. Or two is that Palav's non-caffeinated <laughs> pre-workout is gonna actually work and I'll have a pretty good chest day. Um, I'll be able to do a full chest workout since um, no, there's no time con constraints due to lunch breaks and things like that since I'm going after work. Hopefully the latter will happen, we'll see. Hope for the best. But um, yeah, later. All right, so we're gonna start this chest workout with just regular dumbbell press. No pyramid, just we're gonna do three sets of 10 reps at a single weight that you feel comfortable doing. We're gonna do more sets after our first initial round. So pick a weight that you're not gonna completely max out on, just something you're comfortable doing. To save you some time, I'm just gonna show you our first set of each. I'm just gonna show you one set each uh, per workout, except for the new ones that I haven't introduced yet. There's gonna be a lower chest workout that um, pretty much I haven't done uh, in these videos so far, so I'm gonna show you the full workout for that one. But of course, I'll leave a link in the description below uh, for the full workout routines for these uh, chest exercises. We're now going to do three sets of 10 reps of these incline dumbbell presses to hit that upper chest. Here's the dumbbell pullover uh, that we haven't done yet. So this is the exercise that I have yet to show you guys. Pretty much it's gonna work that lower chest. What you're gonna do is lay flat, 
perpendicular to the bench so you want just your shoulders on the bench pretty much keep those arms straight raise the weight above your chest then bring your hands and weight above your head it's gonna look similar to a skull crusher but keeping those arms straight you're gonna aim for the chest instead of your triceps So here I'm going to give Pulav the instructions. I tell him to put his arms straight up in front of him, keep his arms straight, and then just bring it up above his head and back to his chest. Keep them straight. One thing you don't want to do is whatever this guy is doing on uh, the cable machine, I have no idea what he's trying to work. Uh, it just looks awkward as hell, but just, yeah, focus on Pulav and get that right technique that he's doing right there.
here we're gonna do those dumbbell flies, same as always, three sets of 10. Make sure you're going slow and hitting that half circle. So now we'll move away from the bench under the cables and do just straight cable presses. For these, I always just recommend thinking of it as if you're doing a regular bench. Keep those hands flat and down, keep them facing down. Don't want to put them, uh, don't want to do this palm in or else you're going to start leaning more towards a fly motion. Your body will naturally start doing a fly motion if you start uh, putting your hands palm in. So uh, I definitely recommend keeping them palm down. Again, three sets of 10 reps, and I'll put the link in the description below for more uh, instructions. Lower chest press with the cables. And think of it as if you're benching uh, for your lower chest. Do it at an angle, about a 45 degree angle from uh, where you would do your normal chest presses. Upper chest cable crosses now. Again, take a long stance and then bring them up as if you're gonna cross them in front of your face. cable flies we've done these before one thing to remember keep your arms wide think wide don't focus on the back and forth like you would with a normal press think about going out and in Perfect. 
now we're just going to do a push-up variety. We're going to do five reps of normal push-ups and five reps of a de decline push-up where we put our feet on the bench and then five reps of an incline push-up where we put our hands on the bench. And feel free to increase the reps each set. I went from five to six to seven. And this is pretty much just to finish gassing out our chest. And do you know what the best part of this exercise is? Liking and subscribing. Perfect.